Uh, welcome back friends. Today we are going to have the session 4 in our series of the organic chemistry uh, lectures and in the today's uh, session we are going to discuss about the organic reaction mechanism. Organic reaction mechanism. So I know there will be some of the sound problems. Uh, you can't hear me well in everything but um, I just uh, need your tolerance uh, because as I, as I told you that you learn through uh, the features of, of equipment so I don't have a mic which I can use to record and then to, to mix the sound with you of the videos so that you can hear me well but uh, just listen careful I hope you will enjoy the session and you will enjoy the whole topic of organic chemistry so just to let me and then I hope you, you enjoy the, 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 the today's session. So today I'm going to discuss about the reaction mechanism. The reaction mechanism. The reaction mechanism. So as I told you in the previous session that uh, in the today's session I will go to discuss for the a mechanism of the organic reactions and one among the parts in the organic chemistry which confuses most of the students is the mechanism of organic reaction because uh, most of students they believe that uh, organic reaction mechanism they are very tough and it's very difficult to remember or it's very difficult to perform mechanisms of different organic reactions but I'm telling you sure that in the mechanisms of organic reaction they are very simple and by understanding these basic principles, it is very easy for you to, uh, to perform different types of uh, organic reactions in, the, uh, in your tests or in your exams. Now, uh, we are starting by defining uh, reaction mechanism, the definition of reaction mechanism, and by uh, explaining the bond cleavage mechanisms. Because in any chemical reaction, there must be bond breaking and bond forming. So, in organic reactions also there is bond breaking and bond forming. So, you need to know how bond breaking takes place because bond forming would know organic compounds they are made up of the covalent bonds. And all of the covalent bonds they are made up by sharing of the electrons. So, bond forming is not the problem because we know covalent bonds they are formed by sharing of electrons. And if not uh, sharing of electrons, it is the donation of electrons by uh, one compound and then forming the that covalent bond. Now, we are defining a reaction mechanism. Reaction mechanism is the sequence of steps which occur in chemical reaction. So, uh, we can define reaction mechanism. Reaction mechanism uh, is the sequence sequence of steps which occur in a chemical reaction. So the sequence of steps which occur in a chemical reaction. In other words, you can say the reaction mechanism is the step-by-step -step description of how a chemical reaction takes place. So a chemical reaction can take place in many steps. Let's say it takes place in uh, four or five steps. So how uh, electron they tend to move bond they break and how they are formed the new bond they are formed it is what you call the reaction mechanism so it is the step by step description of the order in which bond break atom rearrange during a chemical reaction and studying the reaction mechanism can help us to understand different uh, different facts about the uh, organic reaction or even other types of, of reaction First, uh, it is very important to study the reaction mechanism because it makes sense how the reaction takes place. If we are telling you that the electrons they are moving from an electrophile to nucleophile and then the new bond is formed, that means you understand that the nucleophile will be having the empty bond, uh, empty orbital, and then the electrophile contain the lone pair or electrophile contain the excess electrons. So the, the, the excess electrons in the electrophile tend to be donated to the the, the excess electron in the nucleophile tend to be donated to electrophile solve for that confusion. So that means we may share a nucleophile containing excess electron 
will, will be donating the electrons to the electrophile. So it, it helps us to understand how, how the, the reaction goes on. It helps us to make sense how the reaction goes on. And then the, the second thing is that we can change the experimental conditions. For example, if we know a certain reaction, uh, for example, for the homolytic bond cleavage to occur, we need to have ultraviolet light. Now, if we want uh, to perform heterolytic bond cleavage instead of homolytic bond cleavage, we are removing ultraviolet light. We are performing the reaction at dark. Why? We have uh, many different products of the reaction, or we have many different uh, types of bond uh, breaking because we know the reaction mechanism and the conditions uh, under which the reaction takes place. Go to another study reaction mechanism to not call the okay. okay. To create this condition and this condition, then the result of the reaction will be this. And then to create this condition and this condition, the, react the result of the reaction will be this one. Come on, Babu, put me some of And I to violate light or molecular bond cleavage in a, in a tokea. Like in the absence of ultraviolet uh, light, that means in dark, heterolytic bond cleavage in a tokea. In ultraviolet in a tokea, homolytic. In absence of ultraviolet in a tokea, heterolytic. So that means what will happen in different conditions of the reaction. And then uh, the third uh, importance of knowing the reaction mechanism is to predict what might happen in the reaction. What, what might happen in the reaction depending on the different conditions. Now uh, let's start by discussing the, the bond cleavage mechanisms. Bond, bond cleavage. Uh, let's start our discussion by discussing the bond cleavage mechanisms. Uh, we have two types of bond cleavage, as I told you. We have the homolytic and the heterolytic bond cleavage. So in these two types, uh, they occur under different conditions. So let's start by discussing the, the homolytic bond cleavage. Homolytic bond cleavage. So, in homolytic bond cleavage, there is bond breaking and each of the bonding atom takes one electron among the bound electrons. As we have explained uh, many times, to not go to a bond, this implies we have two electrons, one electron and one electron. Uh, if this is the covalent bond, that means uh, atom open contribute one electron, atom open contribute one Electron. And if this is the electrovalent bond or ionic bond, that means one atom will donate and another atom will come it can gain or it can share. But what we are saying is that when you have one electron bond cleavage, when you have one bond cleavage, one electron is taken by this one and one electron is taken by this one. So we are using this what we call a half carbon. R. This is called half current R because uh, R to normal to Munisha, when the result is called a half current R. This shows the movement, movement, show the movement of one electron, movement of one electron. We are using what we call half current uh, half card R. So we are using this half card R to show that one among the bonding atom you will take one electron and another among the bonding atom will take one electron. So that example we confirm if we have let's say uh, let's say we have chlorine, then chlorine. In the presence of the conditions which allow the homolytic bond cleavage, for example, in the presence of ultraviolet light. UV, UV light. In the presence of UV light, homolytic bond cleavage will occur. So one of the bond electrons will be taken by chlorine, and another of the bond electrons will be taken by chlorine. So with that, uh, making two chlorine free radicals. Free radicals. As we studied in the organic reactor, that free radicals, we are writing uh, the symbol for an atom with a dot at the top. So that dot at the top indicates that that is the 
periodical. So this is the same as to say you get another chlorine free radical plus chlorine free radical. This is the same as this one. So unaweza kuona kwamba homolytic bond cleavage katika zile bond electrons mbili kila atom wa kwenye ile bond anabeba one electron and the homolytic bond cleavage occur in specific conditions occur in specific conditions kwa mfano tuna ultraviolet light tuna high temperature after kapo tuna organic peroxide presence of organic peroxide after tuna gaseous state of reactant gaseous state reactant or non polar solvent as a reaction medium kama tulisema kule kwenye session ilipita kwamba kwenye solvent solvent anaweza kawa ni polar au non polar kwa tunapokuwa tuna non polar uh, solvent kama reaction medium yeye huwa na favor homolytic bond cleavage lakini pia tunaweza kawa tuna electricity ambayo ni high voltage sasa uh, unaweza kawa umeelewa kwa kipande tunasema kwamba homolytic bond cleavage homolytic bond cleavage or homolysis is the type of bond cleavage mechanism where by two bonding electrons split equally between the bonding atoms by each by each atom taking one electron from the bonding electron each atom takes one electron among the bonding electron that is the very important concept for you to understand since each of the bonded atom takes its own electron resulting to a single unpaired electron in each homolytic bond cleavage so homolytic bond cleavage will that into the formation of the free radicals free radicals so homolytic bond cleavage leads to the formation of free radicals hence the term radical cleavage for homolytic homolytic bond cleavage so from there tunacho kusema ni kwamba homolytic bond cleavage are takes place in a specific condition such as ultraviolet light so we have ultra violet light we normally uh, abbreviate it as uv light uv light then you have high temperature high temperature high temperature then you have organic peroxide organic peroxide presence of organic peroxide in the in the reaction so uh, examples of the organic peroxide to which cut now R then O O R uh, this uh, can be the example of organic peroxide O it can be R C O then O O C O R so these are just some of the examples of organic peroxide like in from there also we have other conditions such as gaseous state gaseous state of, of the atoms gaseous state gaseous state of the atoms how to say what you mean use all non-polar use of non-polar solvent like in your motion high voltage high voltage yeah but kono za kona hizo ndio condition ambazo homolytic bond cleavage huwa inakuwa na inatokea kama kwa hiyo ah kwenye homolytic bond cleavage tunatengeneza free radicals kama ambavyo tumeona tunatengeneza free radicals na hizi free radicals zenyewe zinakuwa kila mmoja anakuwa na one ana one electron ana one electron na tunatumia half card r to show the moment of a single electron au moment of one electron so now uh, tunachosema ni kwamba mechanism kama hii tunaita ni homolytic bond cleavage or homolysis now tunaenda kwenye heterolytic bond cleavage Heterolytic bond cleavage all of the bond electrons they are taken by one atom and most often this is the more electronegative atom so in heterolytic bond cleavage all of the bonding electrons they are taken by one 
of the bonding atoms. So let's say uh, we have, let's say we have in heterolytic bonding imaging, heterolytic bonding cleavage. Uh, let's say in heterolytic bonding cleavage we have, uh, let's say we have C, then hydrogen, then hydrogen, hydrogen, then chlorine. And then we want to perform electrolytic bond cleavage. So because uh, chlorine is more electronegative, more electro more electronegative as compared with carbon. So all of the bond electrons will be taken by chlorine. And we are showing this by using a full card arrow. Full card arrow this is called full cardi R and the full cardi R show the movement movement of electron electron pair movement of electron pair that means movement of two electrons so from there, if all of the bond electrons they are taken by this, that means to the terminator, C, hydrogen, 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 positive charge B, plus chlorine, again charge. So this one, this one will be an electrophile, and this one will be an a nuclear fire. So, a theoretical bond cleavage is that in the formation of an electrophile and the nucleophile. An atom are taking all of the bonding electrons will be a nucleophile, while an atom, which is the preview of electron, will be will be an electrophile. So, this one is an electrophile, and this one there is a nucleophile. A theoretical bond cleavage occur in all conditions which does not support the homolytic bond cleavage to occur. So, to answer the question, a electrolytic bond cleavage is the bond cleavage mechanism whereby bonded atoms takes all of the two bond electrons in cleavage. So, one, one of the bonded atoms takes all of the two bonding electrons. One of the bonding atoms takes all of the two bonding electrons. Or you come one uh, of the bonding electron, exchange all two elect uh, electrons. That means another atom will be the preview for electrons, and that's why it is positively charged. So the atom which take all bond electron become negatively charged, or become a nucleophile. While that one which is the preview for electron become positively become positively charged. So a catalytic bond cleavage in result into formation of a uh, electrophile and nucleophile is that into formation of electrophile and nucleophile. Electrolytic bond cleavage occurs in all conditions which does not allow homolytic bond cleavage. So, for example, uh, the same reaction which we used in homolytic bond cleavage, we say, if you remember, in homolytic bond cleavage, in homolytic bond cleavage, we say, uh, if we have two chlorines, chlorine, then chlorine. In the presence of the condition which allow homolytic bond cleavage, let's say in the presence of UV light. Uh, in the presence of UV light, this takes one electron and this one takes one electron. We are resulting to the formation of the two chlorine free lights. But if the condition which allow which allow homolytic bond cleavage they are not present, that means the reaction will be Heterolytic bond cleavage. So, in the absence of UV light, chlorine, chlorine, in the presence of, uh, let's say it's the darkness, darkness, or let's say it's the low, low temperature. What will happen? Uh, that means all the bonding electrons will be taken by one chlorine, and then will form a chlorine with the charge, plus chlorine with the charge. This will act as the electrophile. And this one will act as the nucleophile. So, uh, 
That's the concept behind the body breathing mechanisms. You need to know about the concept of uh, homolytic and dietolytic bone cleavage. When we are saying uh, homolytic bone cleavage and dietolytic bone cleavage, what do we, do we mean? And the conditions which support the homolytic bone cleavage. Now from there, uh, we can start discussing the principles of showing the organic reactions. Principles of showing organic reactions, one principle after, after another. So, we have about five principles of showing the organic reactions. We have about five principles. Um, it is very important to understand this basic principle because when we be going into detail of different types of organic reactions and their mechanisms, we are using these principles to describe their, their mechanisms. So now, uh, let's start with the rule number one. Rule number one. Uh, rule number one is very easy, very easy. We are saying that to show movement of electrons, headed, curved, or curly, we are calling, we are calling it curly, curved or curly, arrows is used to show movement of, of electrons. As we say, from a tunatumia, who you are, to show movement of one electron. Waka tunatumia, who you are, to show movement of two electrons. So, this, uh, this is the head of the arrow. This is the head. This is the head. And this is the, this is the tail. Tail. So, also this is the head and this is the tail. We are, we are using a headed card arrow. Don't draw an arrow like this to show movement of electrons. No. Uh, it is true this arrow has head and tail, but it is not curved, it is not curved. So we need to use a curved arrow. It depends on where you are sending your electrons, but the arrow the drawn is curved, curved, not straight arrows. So this one it is incorrect, but these two they are correct. So this is the principle number one. We are using the headed curved arrow. The tail of the arrow show how should we start the, at the source of electron and the head of the arrow should direct to the site where the electrons are going. So if we have this arrow that means by drawing an arrow like this here is where is the source of electrons. Where here is the electron electron sink. Electron C. So, for example, always the source of electrons should be a nucleophile. Always the source of electrons is a nucleophile. And always electron C is an electrophile. An electrophile. So the source of electron always is the nucleophile and the electron C is the electrophile. And when we are we are uh, we are we are drawing or oh, when we are showing symbols of charges in the organic reaction mechanism. Don't just write positive and negative. We are using positive, then we circle with a small circle. Or negative, we circle with a small circle. So when the reaction mechanism, we circle to we circle to nucleophile, nucleophile after shell and nucleophile, we will do negative. No, you must circle this. Negative. So, um, a source of electron is a nucleophile, and the electron sink is an is an electrophile. That is the the first principle. That is the first principle or the first rule in showing the reaction reaction mechanism. So it is very important for you to know where the electrons they are coming from and where the electrons they are they are going. That is the the first rule. Now, uh, uh, the second rule explains the same, the same concept, but it just explains about the arrows. The second rule explains that to show the movement uh, of one electron, a half card arrow is used, and to show the movement of electron pair, full card arrow is used. So, movement of one electron, as we say, this is the movement of one electron, and this in the movement of two electrons. That is the principle number two. Very easy to remember. Principle number three 
if there is movement of an electron pair from nucleophile to an electrophile, that means an arrow will start from nucleophile to an electrophile. Then there will be a formation of new bond. Principle number three. Principle number three. If there is movement of electron, if there is movement, movement of electrons, electrons from from nucleophile, nucleophile to an electrophile. Electrophile, a new bond is formed. A new bond is formed between from between nucleophile, nucleophile, and electrophile. Uh, this is very important to remember because uh, when you are forming bonds, bonds is because of the sharing or it is because of the uh, donating, donation of electron by one atom and then another atom may receive zero electron. So let's say uh, we have our nuclear file here, our nuclear file here, which is reaching electron, and then we have our electron file here. So as we say, that the movement of electrons, movement of electron pair, they are showed by full cardiac. So to the part now, a full cardiac, you may talk with nucleophile, you may end up with electrophile. Then the result of this reaction will be nucleophile, you may bond in an, you may bond in an electrophile, you may bond in an electrophile. So this is what we are explaining in the, in the principle number three. The formation of this new bond, formation of new bond due to movement of electron. Movement of electron from nucleophile to electrophile in the care formation of a new bond between electrophile and the nucleophile. So we will see this later in the uh, examples of reaction mechanisms, how it happens. And let's, uh, let's move to the, to the principle number four of showing reaction mechanism. The principle uh, number four and number five, they are somehow some are confusing, so we need to be careful. They are not the same as these are uh, three principles. So we are moving to the principle number four. Principle number four deals with the molecules which act as nucleophile by donating the the electrons of pi bond. Principle number four. Principle number four deals with molecules. Molecules acting. As, as nucleophiles, nucleophiles by donating, by donating, pi bonding, pi bonding electrons, pi bonding electrons. So, this molecule, for example, uh, if we have if we have C double bond C, then uh, we have hydrogen, hydrogen, then hydrogen, hydrogen. For example, let's say uh, example this molecule. Now this molecule, uh, one of the bond is sigma and one of the bond is pi. So if we want to pick this pi bond and to supply the electrons of the pi bond to an electrophile. There are two alternatives. Two alternatives. So, alternative number one, or let's say case one. Case one. If we have a CH2, that would be CH2. Case one. This pi bond can be, and the, the electrons which are breaking here, they can pass through this carbon to an electrophile. So let's say here we have our, our electrophile. Electrons, they can break and they can pass through this carbon to an electrophile. So here a bond will be formed between 
this electrophile and this carbon, where the electrons have passed from this pipe. So the result of this reaction will be CH2. And because, because the electrons have passed this carbon, this electrophile are bonded to this one. This carbon will remain as positively charged. So this carbon will be positively charged and then you will have CH2 electrophile. This is case, case 1. This is case 1. But you can have case 2. Where the bond electrons they can pass through this carbon. So you will have CH2, then down CH2 plus electrophile. So in case 2, the bond electrons they are passing through this carbon, and then the result of this reaction will be so the bond electrons will pass through this carbon, and then you will be donated to the electrophile. So the result of this reaction will be will be C H2 electrophile plus I mean this is not plus this bond CH2. So you see, loop number four explains what I have illustrated here. Loop number four explains what I have illustrated here. That the, uh, when the pi bond is breaking, the arrow will pass through the carbon where the electrophile will come to attach. And another carbon, I'm going to call it a final pi bond in every carbon in the will remain positively charged because it is deprived of electron. So this is what rule number four explains. We also see the sun and the because how to ambigo convention rules. Utatakiwa kutumia rules kufanya mechanism of organic reactions. How to ambigo mention the rules of organic reactions, rules we are using uh, in the mechanism of organic reactions. But utatakiwa kutumia rules kufanya reaction. Kwa hiyo, Hata kama utaelewa maelezo ni kwamba we have two alternatives. Electron is fitted for you, how is fitted for you. You can't write the reaction mechanism without drawing the arrow which indicates where the electrons they have passed. Now in drawing arrow, the arrow is fitted for carbon unit. Ukaja kwa touch electron kwa kwa carbon unit, mwari mwana jua wewe, how do you? Because if the arrow passes through this carbon, the electron file should come to touch you in this carbon. If the arrow passes in this carbon, this carbon, electrophile comes to attach in this carbon. So this will indicate your understanding in the rule number four uh, about the principles of showing the organic reaction. If a molecule acts as a nucleophile by using pi bond, an arrow must pass through the carbon where a new bond will be formed. An arrow must pass through the carbon where a new bond will be formed. So, come on, how will put up this carbon? That means a new bond will come to be formed here. And if an arrow it may go pass through this carbon, that means a new bond will be formed in this, in this carbon. And then from there, transform comma. And the remaining carbon, which originally had a pi bond, become possibly charged. So, here remaining carbon, come on, how will put up new bond is formed in this carbon? The remaining carbon will be possibly charged, which is this one. If the arrow passes through this carbon, the main carbon which is this one will be positively charged. That shows the uh, depletion of the electrons. Now, in this rule number four, let's see some of the examples. Some of the uh, examples of different reactions and their, their products. So as uh, it, can be, it can be easier for us to, to know uh, what we are discussing about. Let's see some of the examples. Uh, examples. These examples, they, they just illustrate what we have discussed in the rule number, number one up to number four. So, for example, show the reaction mechanism four. Show the uh, reaction mechanism four. Uh, let's say Roman 1, it is CH2, then it is CH, 
double bond CH2 plus hydrogen chloride. Lakini hapa ina two products. Sasa so, one among the products of this reaction, we can say that reaction has two products. So we are saying like this. Way. We have two products of that reaction. We may have CH3, then CH chlorine, CH3, and we may have CH3, CH2, then CH2 chlorine. Now let's call this one the product number one, and this one the product number two. If we are starting counting from left to right, that means by nomenclature. This one will be two chloropropane. Two chloropropane. But this one will be one chloropropane. So you see, the uh, product of a single reaction, they are different. Here is two chloropropane. Here is one called propane. Which one will be favored or which one will be in high percentage? We will study later in the factors affecting the uh, rate of reactions in organic chemistry or in factors affecting the rate of organic reactions. But what I want to say is that the formation of this product or this product, they vary at the reaction mechanism. The mechanism of this reaction and this one, they are different. So let's start by showing case one how product number one was formed. So let's start by, by showing the, the formation of product number one. So in order to form product number one, we have uh, CH2, we have CH2, or let's uh, uh, draw the open structure formula. We have CH, H, 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 then we have C. H double bond C H H plus plus hydrogen chloride. So here, if you want to form the product number one, the electrons must part with this carbon. So this bond will be electrons will part with this carbon, and then we generate two. No, I have mistaken here. I have mistaken because here uh, we don't need electrons to hydrogen. So the electrons must pass through this carbon. Sorry, so electrons must pass through this carbon, then to hydrogen. From there, <coughs> this bond will be to chlorine. So here, what will be formed at the product will be. C, H, then H, then H. Then here, this one will be the previous operator, so it will be C, H, then positive charge bond. From there, it will form C, then hydrogen will come to attach here, so it will be hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. And then plus, this one, it shall gain electron to four. And then, the last step, this uh, electron, the four electron you have to it. So, we will form the, the final product of oil. Chlorine is the one that is So, it is the CH3, it is the CH, chlorine, and the CH3. That will be the, the final product of our reaction, which is 2 chloro, 2 chloropropane. So this are uh, integration mechanism how the first product is equal in a token. Lakini in the second product, in the second product, things are uh, they are different a little. What is different is where the electrons they are passing. Where the electrons they are passing. Lazimo na diwa uh when you get the chemistry lazimo na diwa kwamba niki fanya ni to token ni kumbi. So let's say it is C, uh, hydrogen, 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 then it is C, then it is the hydrogen, double bond, C, hydrogen, hydrogen, plus 
hydrogen chloride. So, these electrons will be pita uku. Abzika enda kumpa hydrogen uku. That means a bond will be formed between this carbon and hydrogen. So, this one will donate electrons per. So, tatachi ki bata uku, kita kwa ni C, hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. Then, yamu kita kwa ni C, hydrogen, 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 hydrogen. You have to put C, hydrogen, hydrogen, up at the point possibly charge. You have got the plus at the point chlorine, then negative charge. We have got the nature to require that we have got the final product C, H3, CH2, CH2, chlorine, which is one chloropropane. So, depends, that is the product of the reaction. Is it metagmiana mean? Is it metagmiana? Na iyo bond yo kati na vunjika imepitisha electrons wapi. So I hope you have understood this. And for example, sir, uh, unwezo ka ukafanya hii yake in different ways. Ya unwezo kafanya hii in different ways. You have to expand your, your understanding. Uwezo kujo mamba electrons kita wapi, bond yo kwa fungi wapi. So hii ni he, just example to so, kini. This reaction is also found in different, in different ways. It was to expand your, your understanding. Now, from this example, uh, let's move to principle number five. Let's move to the, to the rule number five. The rule number five. Now, rule number five uh, explains about the molecules which act as nucleophile by donating the lone pair. Donating the lone pair. So, explains about the molecules. Molecules acting as nucleophiles by donating lonely pair. So, in the previous discussion, we have discussed many things about the lonely pair. Lonely pair, lonely pair, lonely pair. So, you uh, there is no uh, problem with the, with the definition of lone pair. So now in this session, uh, I will just going to to proceed with the with the other facts about the lone pair. So to not check seven a molecule of one a lone pair in a one equal octet state equal four. So let's say, uh, for example, if we have a molecule like NHT with one lonely pair. Uh, this nitrogen here, ni kwamba eco full, eco full. So uh, nitrogen here na kwenye ina seven uh, atomic number. So it is one s two, then it is two s two, then it is two p three. So unataka kwamba tu kwamba the nitrogen here it is full. Yani manake uh, tukichukua tukichukua electrons za nitrogen ambazo ni tano kwenye atom shell tukajumlisha na za hydrogen tatu by sharing of electrons zina kwa electron nani but hizi lone pair zinasaidia katika charge ya nitrogen kwa nitrogen ya kidonate the lone pair ye lazima ta become positively charge Lakini kuwe ku become positive charge, ile positive charge hatuwe tuka neutralize kwa kumpa nitrogen nucleophiles. Kwa sababu nucleophiles ana lone pair, ana pair of electrons. Wakati nitrogen yeye yuko octet. Kwa ile positive charge inatokana na kwamba tumemnyang'anya electron. Lakini hatuwe tukamwekea tena electron kwa sababu hana empty orbit. Na tukimwekea electron atakuwa na 10 outermost electrons instead of ngapi? 8. Kwa hiyo sasa Principle number five in a reserve kwanza moja a molecule ambayo na donate lone pair ana become yule atom ana become positive charge like in second in a reserve how we can neutralize that positive charge which is resulting in that such kind of molecule how can we neutralize so by the principle number five we know that we can neutralize that positive charge by blinking a bond in the same atom but different from the bond which is formed. 
And if the bonds which are formed they are similar, the charge will be localized. So, to end up the principle number two, principle number two is not If a molecule acts as nuclear pair by using lone pair, then the atom will donate its lone pair electrons become possibly charged. Now, becoming possibly charged is not a problem, but the problem is how uh, we can we can neutralize that positive charge. Now, because any atom which reaches the extent of donating its lone pair has already attained a stable structure of noble gas, that is eight electrons, octet eight electrons in the outermost shell. So combining with another nucleophile, make it to have ten electrons in the outermost shell, which is against the octet rule, hence it is impossible. So now the question comes from us. How can you neutralize the positive charge? How can you neutralize the positive charge? Uh, we, we can have some of the examples here so that you to, to go together and to understand what we are, we are talking about. Let's say we have a uh, CH3 hydrogen plus hydrogen colony. I want to show the, the reaction mechanism for this reaction. Now, uh, C hydrogen Hydrogen, hydrogen, then oxygen, hydrogen. These are two lone pairs. Plus hydrogen chloride. So, because this one uh, contains electrons, so it will donate electron to hydrogen. And then this bond will be to donate electrons to chlorine. So the result of this reaction will be the result of this reaction will be C hydrogen hydrogen hydrogen. Then this hydrogen will come out here, so it will be oxygen one lone pair hydrogen. But because oxygen is a lone lone pair, it will become positively charged, and then the plus one. So, tunachi kizumunza hapa ni kwamba Tunachi kizumunza hapa ni kwamba How can we neutralize this This positive charge? How can we neutralize this? Kwa sabu hii imetokana Imetokana Na kudonate lone pair Lakini hapa atuwe tukafane hindi Hapa This will be A mistake Atuwe tukafane hindi as an equal subjective and neutralized victim, this is the principle number five. Kono so kono kono dini na panana na principle nikine, but in this is different. We are talking more of it, which act as nucleophile by donating lone pair. So this positive charge is neutralized by, neutralized by, breaking, breaking another Bond breaking another bond which is differently differently from the bond formed. So the bond which is broken must be different from the bond which is formed. That is a very important. Very important thing for you to know. Very important. When you okay, can break bond, confirm. Now, go for example. Where is the bond? From Baba to donate a lone pair bond by hydrogen. So that means bond to your terminus, which is oxygen, hydrogen. Oxygen, hydrogen. So, if bond you know, you can put up oxygen, hydrogen. So, for some moment, you can have a chili, but you can also put it No. Because it is also oxygen, hydrogen. So we are breaking another bond. Oxygen, carbon. Oxygen, carbon. So because we are form, we are forming oxygen, hydrogen. Don't forget to mention. Like in the picture, we are oxygen, carbon. To end up with oxygen, carbon. Because we are forming oxygen, carbon. He chlorine. 
Hii kloridi hapa ina supply hizi ni chonzake kwa carbon hiyo hapa. Kwa carbon hapa bondi inavunja na pia kwa oxygen. So ah uh, hapa zimeomba tu kwa sababu ya special ni ndogo lakini what I wanted to show ni kwamba hii ara ile ya chini kwanza hii kloridi ina supply electrons to carbon. Ina supply electrons to carbon. Kwa hiyo supply electrons to carbon and then this one ah uh, kwa hii kivunja hii bond ikivunja hii bond ikampa huyo hapa huyo hapo si chai napotea tunapata nini huko mwishoni maana yake hii hapa carbon hii hapa kwa hiyo tatacha so tunapata ch3 chloride plus huyo hapa maana yake atakuwa hydrogen and hydrogen oxygen huyo hapa tunamshia electron zake so huyo hapa atakuwa ni water atakuwa ni water So the mechanism hapo unakuja kuona ni, ni kama sama uchafu lakini we are based on the principles we are based on the on the principles of organic reaction so hapo ni maelezo tunasema how the positive charge is neutralized how the positive charge the positive charge is neutralized by breaking one of the bond originally present in the atom which donates its own pair of electrons and the bond must be different to the new bond which is formed The bond must be different to the new bond which is formed. So to break our uh, oxygen carbon ambayo ilikuwa kutoka mwanzoni lakini different from oxygen hydrogen. Lakini what if kama bond zote zinafanana? Kama bond zote zinafanana, this positive charge will neutralize on the whole molecule. If all all bonds they are similar. Hiyo ni the case all bonds they are, they are similar. So let's see uh, some other examples if it was upon about what happens in these other examples what happens continue continue so the examples here now they are using all principles all five principles of showing the organic reaction principle number one is the reaction of electron principle number two uh, the the arrows then principle number three principle number 2 the arrows principle number 3 bond formation during movement of electron principle number 4 the molecules which act as nucleophile by pi, pi bond electrons and principle number 5 is the molecules which act as nucleophile by lone pair so uh, let's start with this one ch3 it is ch3 ch2 bromide then plus sodium hydroxide ili kwenda form CH3 CH2 hydroxide plus hydrogen bromide ah uh, show i mean is sodium so sodium bromide now you, you are required to show the reaction mechanism for this reaction you are required to show the reaction mechanism for this reaction ah uh, Sodium hydroxide is in organic. So sodium hydroxide this one is in organic. Lakini hata kusema kama there is the bond here ambayo it break all the bonding electrons to be taken by that one and to be sodium positive charge plus hydroxide negative charge. So uh, what will happen ni kwamba tutakuwa tuna hiyo hapo C hydrogen 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 then to now c hydrogen hydrogen to now bromine plus kwa hiyo hapa ah it was pick up pale kwenye destination point lazima hapa tuwe tuna hydroxy so na hydroxy hapa hiyo hydroxy is a active nucleophile it's a donated to this carbon this bond will be broken to to the net electrons to go on so at the end of the day you end up with ah uh, we end up with here the bond is CH3 ah uh, I'm going to bond CH2 then to do this plus I'm going to put on it now we're going to put it there we go but this one are in the presence of sodium sodium will be very common down so we can do it to the form sodium So uh simply kwamba 
reaction mechanism in general ni simple reaction mechanism ni simple kwa sababu unafuata hizo principles na kama tu ukipata hizo principles zote ukipata hizo principles zote uko mbele tena kusoma deep in terms of reaction and the mechanism of occurrence how we can test of reactions and repair na hapo ndipo ambapo utaona pia reaction mechanism ndio ziko simple zaidi angalau tunaweza kuona kama vile ni ngumu lakini uko mbele they, they are very simple ah uh, hii reaction number 2 hapo mnaingaiza uh, it is very simple to, to share here there it is very simple so uh, yeah also need to know this concept that uh, two nucleophile cannot react two nucleophile cannot react two nucleophile cannot react kwa sababu zote za kozi andoneti electrons lakini in the presence of acidic medium acidic medium what we are kama in the presence of acidic medium this hydrogen a proton will act as an electrophile so if it will act as an electrophile it will initiate the chemical reaction and by initiating the chemical reaction two nucleophiles they can they can react together so let's say uh, we have our examples here our examples uh, of two nucleophiles for example we have a uh, ch2 ch2 hydrogen plus uh, ch3 NH2 to form uh, to form CH3 uh, CH2 or then CH3 plus NH3. So, for example, this reaction E I O is cut okay. Mpako on acidic condition. So, in the presence of acidic condition. Uh, we have a CH3 NH2 in the presence of acidic condition we have an alone pair so here an alone pair at an energy electron for the point at the energy to the mezzanine to the mezzanine carbon hydrogen hydrogen in CH3 hydrogen then into the laser nitrogen hydrogen hydrogen but this one will be possible okay. if we remember principle number 5 to say maje here apa cause chapter in terms of big bond kwa hiyo tumetengeneza bond ya bond nitrogen hydrogen lakini pia kuna bond ya bond nani carbon nitrogen so to the big bond Ibon to the big jaba. Ah, to know the big ibon. Man, after to neutralize you up, we will put a C hydrogen, hydrogen, hydrogen. You have an opposite charge. Oh, in an opposite charge, you have a T up when a part of you can neutralize. To keep you up, man, after to plus CH3, CH2, or hydrogen. Again, this one has two lone pairs. So, due to the presence of two lone pair, in has a carbonate, the electrons to carbon. So, if you donate electrons to carbon, Takachi Kipata, Takachi Kipata, the product of this reaction will be Maraja of the one CH2, CH2, then oxygen, hydrogen, in positive charge, then we will show the one CH2. So we have come up with one part of CH2. I mean CH3. This is CH3. Then CH2, oxygen. Then hydrogen. But this one is possible charge. Then equal to na CH3. So bond which we have to make is oxygen carbon. Like the bond which we originally present in bond here, but the name is oxygen hydrogen. So oxygen carbon now oxygen carbon to the but it's oxygen hydrogen. So you bond in a big to supply the electrons to oxygen in the part. Now we have part of the final product CH3, CH2O, CH3 plus 
Kwa hiyo hiyo je ndio ile sink media. Amoja wetu alitengenezwa ndio huyo hapa. Unapata NH3 which is this one. Kwa that is the the principle of showing organic reaction. Unaweza kuona hapa tumetumia hii hapa ni room number 5. Number 5 kwenye loan pair. Sababu hapa alikuwa ni donate au loan pair. Hiyo ni donate loan pair kuja hapa. Kwa tuna brick bond ambayo nyingine. Hapa tumetumia pia room number 5. Kwa hiyo unaweza kuona in the presence of a acidic medium reaction hiyo tumeweza kutokea namna hiyo. So uh, we have many many examples and we have uh, many questions which you can do but uh, this is simply the explanation of the five principles of showing the reaction mechanism as well as the mechanism uh, of organic reaction. So as we know uh, that the session from this one is about the if you don't know it's uh, it's about the factors affecting the i mean types of organic reactions we study first types of organic reaction then we start uh, factors affecting the rate of organic reaction types then factors affecting the rate of organic reaction but there is a, a very short explanation here of the functional groups I want to combine it with this session. The concept of functional groups. So actually, uh, the concept of functional groups uh, it was not the concept of just uh, discussing here because it is very easy. Functional group is just the group which determines the chemical properties, chemical properties of a compound. So in organic reactions, we have different types of functional groups. Functional group are a group of atoms or bond which determine characteristics, chemical reactions of organic compound. It is the active site of organic compound where chemical reaction takes place. So, for example, uh, we have alkane. Alkane, alkane is a functional group. Alkene, it is a functional group. Alkyne, triple bond is a functional group. To know aromatic compound, benzene is a functional group. To know alcohol, hydroxide is a functional group. To know carboxylic acid, C down H is a functional group. To know amine, to know esters. Kwa hiyo, even though to know amine, if we go to the carboxylic, I mean to the carbonyl compound, we have to the aldehyde and ketone. This is also a functional group. Now, this concept of homologous series, I hope most of you will be aware of level chemistry. Like in the case of homologous series, is the series of organic compounds having similar properties. Now, if you have any characteristics of homologous series, is a part of the zona to be in table. Uh, unazo kazi study tu japo normal for advanced chemistry kwa always kuuliza the characteristics of homologous but it's better for you to know kwamba the compound uh, of the same homologous is first they have the same general formula success member they differ by ch2 ch2 uh, for example if we have uh, we have ch4 then it will be c2h6 c3h8 Kukuchukome na zimu number of carbon utapata utapata CH2 Na wea kwa utapata CH2 This is the homologous series of alkali That's what we are meaning by successful member They have the same method of preparation They have the same chemical properties They show gradual change in the physical properties Of for example boiling point, melting point and things like that And their name end with the same suffix for example all our candidate end up with ane 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 so things are like that way you only our concept here function group now major series in the next session i will start uh we start discussing with the types of the organic reactions so in the next session we uh, discuss types of organic reaction then next session after that we discuss factors affecting the rate of organic reaction kwa hiyo cha msingi wenu ni subscribe hapo ili uweze kupata vipindi vya hapo endelea
pia tutaendelea kwa upload vipindi vya biology all topics na pia chemistry physics na kwa hiyo organic chemistry now i am using guys a series of organic chemistry however i will be mixing also with, uh, some of the other materials which i have myself like it will be very difficult for you to assess them so the best method is you to view my sessions and then to uh, summarize what i am saying and what i am writing thank you everybody and let me wish you nice studies